everyone welcome back to another day of vlogmas i hope you guys are all doing really well in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i created the look that i have on right now i wanted to create a look that was a little bit more wintry versus holiday -y. <laughs> so that's what i wanted to do today i also just got my nails done to this nice blue color a couple of days ago and i really just wanted to create a makeup look that was surrounded by the nail color so that's what i wanted to do today i hope that you guys enjoy the look that i've created but let's go ahead and jump into the video and i'll show you how I did it. Okay, so for this look, I'm thinking about making sort of a light blue sort of snow inspired look. It doesn't snow where I live very often, but I recently got my nails done and I just really feel like I kind of want to create a look that is similar to the way that my nails look. So I've pulled a couple of eyeshadow palettes I'm going to pull some inspiration from, probably going to dip into these. And then we're going to create the whole look based around the kind of snowy blue look. So it's not quite Christmassy, but it's more like a, just a wintry sort of a look. So the first one is this Iceland palette from Nomad. I love to dip into these two columns from the palette when I want something like this. But I think the star of the show, and I might mix it with some of those shimmer shades, but I think the star of the show is going to be this shade from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. So I have these two singles. And I have the shades called Perry and Wink. And so I really want to use the shade called Perry. I think that that just goes really nicely with the color of my nails, which is inspiring this look. The Wink shade is a little bit deeper than what I'm wanting to do today. I kind of want it to be like a really light sort of a look. So I'm not sure if I'll dip into that one or not. I kind of want to use more blues and then top it with that sort of Periwinkle shimmer shade. And then I did actually pull this palette from Flower Nose to use the more cool tone matte shades, but I might end up dipping into a couple of other palettes as well. But I think that will get us started at least. So let's go ahead and do the eye look first today, but I do want to go ahead and kind of prime the skin and get it ready for it later. I'm going to use this Kopari SPF. This is a really great product to use as an SPF and a primer. I find that it works really nicely. It's very glowy. And I recently noticed that mine is going to expire in January. So I need to need to be using this product. So here's your reminder to still use SPF in the winter time. Just because it's not as sunny outside doesn't mean that you don't need to wear an SPF. So this is your reminder. Okay, so we're gonna get that plenty of time to sink in while we go ahead and work on the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna start out with this eyeshadow base. This is from CoverGirl. It's their Lid Lock Eyeshadow Primer. I really like this product. I find that it really does help my eyeshadow last a lot longer. And also I do feel like it helps matte shades avoid creasing. I tend to use a glitter primer to help my shimmer shades from creasing, but I really like this eyeshadow primer. Pulled you guys in a little bit so you can see my eye look hopefully a little bit better, but I'm just going to blend this in. And then I want to start out with neutral shades and then we'll kind of build up the blue shades. I really want it to be light and airy. I don't want it to be like a very powerful blue look. My sort of style of colorful makeup is one that I still feel confident wearing out of the house. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm actually, you might be able to tell, I don't think this is how the decor is actually going to end up for my Christmas videos, my Vlogmas videos, but I'm actually going to go today after I film this and get some Christmas decor and holiday decor for this room. So I actually pulled out these Christmas trees from our attic today and I just put them up so that I could have them kind of a little bit holiday-y in the back of this video. But that's what I'm going to do today. So I want to like this look and want to wear it out to go do that. So I do want to lean into like more cool tone shadows. So I'm going to dip into this palette from Flower Nose. I'm going to start out with the lightest matte shade and then I want to just put that all over the lids. I really like to start with a light shade no matter what look I'm creating and kind of put it all over the lid all the way up to the brow and kind of set down the eyeshadow base because I like to blend my shadows a lot and I don't like anything to be too intense on the eyes usually. I like to start out with a shade like this because it helps me have a more seamless and more subtle blend especially when I want it to blend mostly towards the brow to kind of go more towards my skin tone. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of this shade so it's just a little bit deeper. I'm going to put this on the outer portion of the lid and then into the crease. Oh, you know what palette would be perfect for this? I'm always talking about how I don't love the blue tones in this palette from Huda. This is the Rose Quartz palette, but this might be the perfect time to dip into this. So I'm going to remember that, especially like some of these lighter, more like 
pinky sort of blue shades. That could be really pretty. Okay, that's about as deep as I want the look to go at all. I wanna keep it pretty light, but I'm thinking I might dip into one of the matte shades from this Rose Quartz palette just to bring in a little bit of rosiness to the crease and the outer corner. So I'm gonna dip into this shade called Radiate. It's one of the lighter matte shades, and I'm just gonna put this right on top of the shade I was just putting on the lid. Okay, and now I'm ready for the shimmer shades. So I'm gonna add some of my NYX glitter glue to the lids, and then we're gonna start kind of layering up a couple different blue sort of shimmer shades. Okay, I do wanna keep the look pretty light, but I wanna have a little bit of dimension. So I'm gonna dip into this shade called Cosmic Love from the Rose Quartz palette. I'm gonna pick it up on a brush, and then I just wanna pat this on the very outer corner of the lid. So I'm going to end up putting another shade over this one, but I think by layering it, it will give me that little bit of dimension I'm wanting without having to add this on later. So one of my favorite things to do when I'm creating a colorful eyeshadow look is just to keep the color on the actual lid. I don't bring it up all the way to above the crease at all because I find that that's when I start to feel like the look is a bit too colorful for my comfort zone and my preferences. I find that when I use more brown or neutral tones from the crease up to the brow and then put the color just on the lid, it helps it feel a lot more wearable for me. And that's what I really like. Okay, so I think that's gonna give me the bit of dimension that I'm wanting, so I'm gonna leave that as it is. And then next up, I'm gonna dip into the shade called God's Waterfall from the Iceland palette with Nomad. I'm also gonna pick this one up on a brush, but I wanna put this shade right in the center of the lid. And these colors are gonna clash a little bit, but I'm going to cover them up with the shadow from Give Me Glow. I just wanna have a different base underneath before I do that, because I wanna pull it a little bit more blue as the shade is a pretty true periwinkle. So having blue underneath should help it pull a little bit more blue than purple. And to me, that's a little bit more wintry, which is the goal of this look. I'm just gonna flip the same brush over and pick up this shade called River Glacier. Again, this is from the Iceland palette. And I'm gonna put this on the very front portion of the lid. Okay, so this is kind of the base that I'm wanting to put the Perry shade over. So let's dip into that now. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush for this as well. So I'm just gonna pick this shade up with a brush and then this shade I'm going to put all over the lid. I might end up using a finger, but I think for now I'm gonna stick with the brush. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use a finger. I mean, look how perfect that shade is, honestly, to matching my nails just as is. But I did wanna just do a little bit of something different underneath. So I think you'll still be able to see how it will pull more blue. And I'm going to blend this out to hopefully make it look a little bit less bold, but I'm really, really liking that. So now I just wanna add a little bit of lightness to it because my nails definitely have a little bit more of that like icy white sort of thing. They've got like a white chrome over them. So I'm gonna use the fluffy crease brush I was using earlier just to blend out on top of this shadow. I really like how this is looking. So you can see when I look straight forward that you can barely see the blue color. And when I look down, you can see it more, but it's not, in my opinion, taking up too much. I even brought it slightly into the crease, but still not a lot. So let's go ahead and match the other eye. I'm feeling like this shade here from the Rose Quartz palette called Moon Magic might give me what I'm wanting. It does have a bit of a pink flip to it, so I'm hoping I'm not gonna regret this, but I feel like it might just lighten up the look like I'm wanting. So I'm gonna add it right there in the center of the lid. Yeah, it just lightens it up just a tiny bit and it gives it a little bit of a flip. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm gonna blend again right in the crease with that same brush from earlier. I am really liking this so far though. I like that a lot. I think this is gonna be the best bet for what I'm wanting, just to give that kind of like snowy effect. And this is a glitter palette from Nabla. This is the Miami Lights glitter palette. And I'm gonna dip into the white shade. Now this white shade does have a bit of other flecks of color in it. And so I'm hoping that this will give me what I'm wanting, but it does have some larger chunks of glitter. You might can see I picked up one right there on the tip of my finger. So I'm just going to brush that off with my other fingernail. And then that leaves me with a little bit less chunky glitter. And I wanna press this over top of the blue. If you have a really glittery shadow that's more of just like a white base, it doesn't have so many other flips of glitter in it, 
I'd probably use that instead right here, but I don't have one. So this is what I'm going to be using. And I think that that just added something extra. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it on camera as much as I can in person, but it just has like the tiniest little flip of something extra to it, which I think is really fun. So again, I'm just going to do the same thing to the other eye, making sure not to put any of the super large chunks of glitter on. If that's what you're going for, I think the large chunks are really pretty, but I'm going for something a little bit more subtle. Okay, one last time I'm going to blend the crease. And then I do have a bit of fallout just from all of those shades I was using. So I'm going to kind of lightly wipe my face with a makeup wipe. I don't want to wipe it too much. Hopefully not take off some of that SPF. Okay, and then for this look, I definitely want to curl the lashes. I feel like this look's just calling for curled lashes. Before I add mascara, I'm gonna add a little bit of this. This is the Shadow Sticks from ColourPop in the shade Cold Girl. And I wanna add this on the very inner portion of the lid. It's a very white sort of base color with some shimmer in it. So I wanna add that to the inner corner, but then also bring it into that very first part of the eyelid. I think that'll just kind of brighten up the look overall. Yeah, I feel like that's what it was missing. Just needed a little bit more brightness on the inner portion of my eye there. Okay, I'm gonna build up quite a bit of mascara on the top lashes. I'm gonna use the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara, and then we will go ahead and start on the face makeup. But I'm not gonna put any bottom lash mascara on yet until we get done with the face makeup. Let's go ahead and do the face makeup now. So I'm going to use this primer from Wet n Wild. This is the Glass Correct Primer. You guys have probably heard me talk about this like a million times now. It is my favorite primer right now. For foundation, I'm gonna use this one from Wet n Wild as well. This is the Photo Focus foundation. I have the dewy version of it. And I do really like this. I feel like you have to put it over a good base underneath like the primer I just used. And then also I find that I have to use a sponge with this one or I won't like how it looks on my skin. But if I do put it over a good primer and I use a sponge with it, I tend to actually really enjoy this foundation. And it's only about $5, so it's at a really, really good price. But for my face makeup, I don't want to do anything too crazy. I just want it to be, again, more wearable to go with the eye look. And I want to keep it a little bit more cool toned. For concealer, I'm going to use this one from Flower Beauty. This is the Light Illusion Concealer. This one's definitely one of my more cool tone concealers. So I think it'll go really nicely with this look. When I have blue on the eyelids, I want to make sure to really cover up my under eye bags because it can pull out some of the blueness on them. So I started out with that flower concealer, but I am going to add a tiny little bit of the Huda Faux Focus or Faux Filter Concealer as well because it's a little bit more brightening and I think it can help cover up the blueness on my under eyes a little bit more. And to blend out the Huda one, I'm actually going to use a brush and just kind of pat it in. That way I have as much coverage as possible. But having blueness on the under eyes is just part of what I look like and what my skin is. So I'm not going to worry too much about it if you can still see a tiny bit underneath. But I do want to try and combat it a little bit. For powder, I'm going to use this one from e.l.f. This is the Halo Glow Setting Powder. So I'm going to make sure to press this on the under eyes. But I'm going to go ahead and set the whole face with this. For bronzer, I'm going to use this Face Duo from Patrick Ta. It has a powder and a um, cream. I don't know why that word was so hard. It has a powder and a cream product, and I feel like this one does lean a little bit more of the neutral to cool tone versus some of my other products. So I'm actually gonna start out with the powder, and then I'll add a little bit of the cream product in a minute. I'm just gonna use the end of my sponge for the cream side of this. I really don't like to dip a brush into a cream product that's in a pot like that, because I find that no matter <laughs> how expensive the brush is that I use with it. I always have some shedding and I really can't stand to see little brush hairs in that product. It just looks so gross to me. Okay, so then I'm just going to blend that out a little bit with the side of the sponge where I use my foundation. So it's not super warm tone of a bronzer and contour duo. For blush, I'm gonna use this Seychelles blush from Buxom. I really like this shade for a more cool tone look. It's not like it's like a purple blush or anything like that. It actually still does have like a little bit of a warmth to it, but I really like the sheen that it gives. And I feel like it has a nice sort of mauve tint to it as well. So I really like this one. The ColourPop I Need Space blush that I have, it's way discontinued, but I also like that one for cool tone looks if you have it as well. 
And then once again, I'm going to blend that out with my sponge just to make sure it doesn't look too overwhelming. Lastly, for the cheek products, I'm going to use this highlight from Catrice. This one is in Supreme Rose Beam, and it's a little bit more of a pinky highlight, so I think it'll go really nicely with a more cool tone look. Okay, for the brows, I'm going to use the same three brow products I always use. I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Cool Ash Brown. And then for the front part of the brows, I'm going to use the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in Ash Brown. And then I'm going to kind of seal them all in with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Okay, for the lips, I'm going to use this duo. This is going to be the NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Nude Beige. And then the Ulta Beauty Lipstick in the shade called Dusty Mauve which is the shade called, or the shade number 330. Okay, and then I do just wanna finish up the eye area. So I'm gonna take that crease brush that I was using earlier, and I just wanna run this on the lower lash line. I'm gonna try not to pick up anything else. Let's see how that goes. Tiny little bit of the lightest two shades from the Flower Nose palette. And then I'm gonna pinch the brush and run that on the lower lash line. Adding in a more neutral lower lash line also can help ground the look in my opinion. So that's kind of why I'm wanting to use it. I feel like I go back and forth sometimes wanting to do like I see some people where you just put the mascara on the top lashes and you leave the bottom kind of bare. But for this look, I'm feeling like putting the mascara on the bottom lashes. So I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of that same Ilia one. And then lastly for this look, I do want to finish it up with some setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, long name, but I really like this one. I'm almost out of it, which is really sad. I'm going to have to pick up another one. And then as per usual, once it's mostly sunken into the skin, I'm just going to press very lightly all over the face with my sponge just to help any little droplets that are left over kind of melt in to the skin. Okay, so I'm really liking how the look has turned out. I think I'm gonna leave it here. I think it's turned out a little bit more grungy than what I had in my mind, especially with the more cool tone, dusty mauve lip, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I feel like this is quite the wintry look and it almost leans a little bit more like fall into winter, which feels really fitting, especially with being the beginning of December right now. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed how this look turned out. Let me know down below what you think about wearing blue eyeshadow out. Do you guys usually feel confident in it? Because for me, it's one of my least worn eyeshadow shades. It's one of my least confident shades to wear. I'll say that. So um, I really envy when people can just rock the blue eyeshadow and feel very confident in it. But I feel like it looks pretty close to my nails, which is what I was going for. But let me know down below what you guys think. If you did enjoy today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.